Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to Terraria Modded. In the last episode, we built a little bit of an arena, which we're going to go take a look at in just a moment. We tried our luck with the Old Ones Army Tier 1. Um, worked out pretty well. Um, with the Lightning Aura Rod, it should be a lot better, uh, hopefully. And let's see, we also went through a little bit of a Blood Moon. Didn't get anything, but the Zerg Potions definitely helped. Uh, so we are currently almost out of money, which is not a good thing. Uh, so, yeah, we have about five gold. Uh, so what we're going to do today, we're going to try the Old Ones Army again. I bought a few more Eternia Crystals. Um, we're going to try our luck. Uh, I've upgraded the arena a little bit. So this is not the finished product, but this is pretty close. Uh, I still want to put a bit of a roof on it. Um, I'm thinking something that looks like the, uh, like the Pantheon, or, you know, Greek-esque. Uh, but I put down some campfires and some heart lanterns and all that kind of fun stuff, so it should be a little bit better. Uh, I leveled this area out a little bit, so hopefully the, uh, the bad guys won't be too bad for this whole thing. And then I also leveled this out just a little bit over here as well. Uh, nothing too major, but enough. So enough talking, let's go ahead and do another one of these. So I'd like to put a lightning R rod there. And then we'll go to the other side. I need to go. Alright. So we're gonna really quickly run over here. Um we're gonna click that. We're also going to switch these. And hopefully there's no... Does it just take 10 ma mana? Okay, okay. There's a lot of these guys. Uh, Alright. This is just take 10, yes. So we have one there. Um, put another one there. We have like 15 seconds, so we should have enough to put at least one over here. Yes. Um, so yeah, I want to rearrange some stuff. Actually, the boots are probably going to be good to have over the ring. Or do we want the... That'd be two more... Uh, it'd be a little bit more damage. A little bit of a build-up time, but that's fine. Uh, so we're going to continue using the zapper. We're not using any buffs or anything like that right now. Um, don't really need to. But we don't need, like, jumping or falling damage stuff. There's a bunch of mana right there. Uh, what is this? Move it speed? Okay, that's fine. That'll work just fine. So let's put another one there. And let's actually put one here. Um, we need to protect it, uh, protect the crystal from specifically the, uh, the wyverns. Uh, those guys are probably the worst thing we're gonna deal with for a good while, um, just because of the, uh, they, they get around your defenses pretty easily. So we're gonna put another one of these. Oh, hey, Defender Metal. We'll put another one like there. And... You know, this actually does other things, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll see. If it matters or not. Put one there. And we'll put another one on the other side. If we have enough time, we do. So I think this is the part where we start getting into the uh, wyverns, yes. But... That's not too big of a deal. Let's just go ahead and get the Sunbeam staff. And hopefully we can kill anything that pops out before it causes damage to the crystal. Nope. I hate these wyverns. Because uh, they float up there. They float up top. And there's not much we can do about them. But hey, um, the more... 
Uh, the more Defender Medals we can get, the better off we'll be. Uh, because we can buy more of the different things, and uh, it'll be better in, in general. So let's do something silly. We're going to put a couple of these up here. Uh, to hopefully deter the... Ooh, Dark Mage. Um, to hopefully deter the Wyverns. At least I'm hoping. Because they will fly up that way before doing too much else. And there's the Dark Mage. Alright. So we're just going to attack him as much as possible. Uh, we are getting damaged. Alright, um, just take care of those guys, and Dark Mage should die, aha, we got a treasure bag, and that is enough to complete um, the first tier of the Old One's army. So that's going to give us three more medals, so we have seven in total. We also have a treasure bag, which is really cool. And uh, we can buy other other uh, rods and whatnot. And this is something we might farm kind of occasionally um, as we want. I don't know what all the old one, the Dark Mage, uh, will drop. But we'll see here soon. Uh, we did get a dragon egg, which is kind of cool, I think. Let's go ahead. What are all these? Now... Oh. Um, so we now have a dragon following us. It's just kind of a aesthetic thing. Not really anything too concerning. Uh, let's quick stack that. Uh, let's quick stack that. And let's open the treasure bag. So, ooh, enchanter. Um, we have dark gift. It's a healer class item. Uh, okay. That's kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, our storage is full. So that's the next thing I want to kind of address. Um, are you... You're the musician. Oh, you are very, uh... Pretty? If you're unsure of how to stumble upon glyphs, my master once told me powerful bosses hold many. Glyphs can only be applied to weapons. So this is the, the glyph stuff. Um, every third attack will cause a slicing gus. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what this is all about. We'll look into that later. Alright, so we have now done the Old One's Army. Um, we still need to do more stuff with the Old One's Army, but, uh, before we do anything else, I want to try to get to the Underworld. Um, so we have a pretty good path to the Underworld. We have a really good one over here. Um, yeah, let's have some fun. Let's see. Let's get a teleportation. Let's see, anything. Let's go ahead and put this away. And... Um, potions. Let's see, we're going to want mining potions. Uh, we can go ahead and keep some of these potions on us, because why not? Uh, but... I don't see any... Any of the fun potions, so it looks like we're going to have to buy a potion. Not a big deal. Uh, let's get this back to vanilla. And the one we want is... Um, do you even sell it, or do you sell it? Not a wormhole potion. We want just the, the random teleportation potion. I'm not entirely sure which one of these guys sells it, if any of them. Uh, there's more stuff with the arena we can do as well. We'll get to that later. Uh, okay. So... Not really anything right now. There's got to be...
Huh. All right. Well, whatever. Um. What is it even called? Potion. Uh. It's like the chaos potion or something like that. Let's see, I vaguely remember what it looks like. It's not that. I thought it was like that though. Hmm. It's what you get when you make a wormhole potion in single player. It's the same recipe. Yeah, this guy. So it requires a chaos fish or some blood orbs. Um, we can do that. It does require an alchemy table though. Which I think we have. Do we have one in here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have an alchemy table. Let's take that out. Uh, we can put that in there too. We can place some of these guys away. And you know what? We're not really using the granite staff. Or honestly, even the high tide. So let's just do that. Um, let's put this here. And we want the potions. All right, we, we're gonna need, let's see, let's get five bottles of water. Um, and we'll get this going. So uh, basically all I wanna do is teleport randomly. Uh, and then we can go from there. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to actually head off to, uh, we're going to head off to the underworld because if we can get some hellstone, uh, then we can get, uh, the next upgrade for these, uh, for the storage system, which would be really nice. So let's make like two of those. Alright, and then random teleportation. Actually really good. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and use Night Owl and Shine. I kind of want to explore around here just a little bit. But, not seeing anything. Hey, we got a whoopee cushion. Uh, what are you? What kind of crawler are you? A diamond. Okay. That works for me. Uh, bizarre rock formation. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight that. That is a boss. Um, I believe that is going to be the buried champion. Or find the feet of bizarre rock formation. Um, I don't really want to go after that right now. So let's get out of here. In fact, let's just hop on a minecart. And let's see, is there anything in here worth taking? Sure, we can take it. Not that big of a deal. Uh, so we're gonna want to go up a little bit. Or we could just dig down here. That would be fine too. We do have mining potions. With a little bit of water, it's a lot safer. But now it's not. There is another weird chest thing here. Um, we want the gold, conflagration, opal ring, blue ring. That sounds cool. Uh, let's just take all of that and take the scarlet chest. That was a bat. I didn't actually see it, but indeed it was. 
And we need to... We need to come up here and place this guy. And let's just go ahead and deposit all. Alright, so... Don't know that there's much we can do here, um, except for digging down. Uh, that's kind of the biggest thing we need to do right now. Uh, we need to get to the Hellstone. Once we can get some Hellstone, we can upgrade our storage system. Um, we can start upgrading our tool, our weapons and whatnot, uh, and get ready for basically the the hard mode. Um, we've got a lot of work to do before we get there. Um, quite a few bosses to fight including that buried champion that is up in the marble area. Um, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, okay, we're going to want to go to the side just a little bit. Um, secret, you don't want to dig straight down. Not so much because of like falling into things. Obviously, I can see everything we're going to get into. Um, but more because uh, things falling on you. Uh, that's usually the worst, like, outcome of all this stuff, so. Some topaz, air light slime dude. And just keep digging down. That was a worm. Nothing major. Okay. Um, so we should be pretty close to where we need to be. Um, watch out for all that silt. And earth and golems are kind of whatever. Uh, this is good ore though. Platinum and what are you? A beholder. You are terrifying. Um, haha, you're also on fire. Oh, ancient marble chunks. Isn't that something? Ancient blade. I'm not entirely sure, but that's something that is specifically this, like, marble area. Uh, let's put some torches down. And there's some new enemies. There is another ancient. So those don't seem to be terribly rare. That is a huge deposit of platinum. Uh, it's a trap, but like that is just a huge deposit of platinum. Alright, there is another scarlet chest right here. Anything good? We have spring boots. Take everything we can. Um, deposit all. Uh, let's get rid of. I, sometimes I hate using the uh, uh, the control. Uh, what is it? It's like smart cursor stuff. Um, ooh, you're a big dude. Hey, I want to kill the big dude. Looks like when he shields, you can't attack him at all. But bronze alloy fragments. Okay. Please don't summon that guy. I don't want to fight a boss right now. Thank you. All right, so cave bat, we have another... Uh, minecart track. Uh, now you want to be careful at this level with these guys because they can dump you into lava and that's not healthy. Um, this one's going up more than anything else. Uh, where are we at? We're like right above where we need to go. So we can go the other way. At least for a little bit and see... 
if this goes back down or what. Looks like it goes up, might actually stop. Yeah, it just stops. All right. So let's just pop down here. We can get some magma ore. Okay, so this is stuff I haven't seen yet. And it's kind of all over the place. Uh, more of this stuff. Let's go ahead and take it all. Why not? And it looks like the magma ore... Does it set you on fire? No. Alright, it's perfectly safe. Um, are these diamonds? Nope, sapphires. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's good to have some gems. Now, one of the NPCs we currently have does sell gems, so that's nice. Uh, we don't necessarily need to find gems in the world anymore. But, my gosh, there's a lot of platinum here. We'll take a lot of this stuff and then we'll just we'll put it in our piggy bank. There's a lot of uh, duplicates in there that we can manage. Um, I don't know if this magma ore is any good, if it's going to be useful for us or anything like that, but we'll take a bit of it. We'll see what we can do with it. And that's a geyser. Ow. Um, Alright, before we go any farther down, um, yeah, our inventory is pretty full. Let's go ahead, place this guy down, uh, deposit all, and that that's most of it. So, good enough. All right, so back to the underworld. There is a lot of stuff here that we can we can work with. Uh, there's plenty of hellstone. We just have to be careful of lava, and if we walk on hellstone, it does catch us on fire. Now, some of these guys, demons, are a little bit of a concern, but not that much. Okay. Uh, we, we mostly need to be worried about the lava. Let's kill this demon. Okay, we got nothing out of them. Uh, sometimes you can get their spells, which would be really nice. But, you can't get everything the first time you come to a place. Um, what are you? Alright, we're, we're dying to the bat. Alright, so we're gonna want to kind of be very safe. Ow. I say as I jump into lava. And eventually we'll probably come back down here with a, uh, some sort of a, like, uh, actually do this, uh, some sort of a, uh, fire resistance, uh, lava resistance type thing. And we're dead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. There's worse things that could have happened. Alright, so I don't think we can do anything with the Hellstone yet. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, because I don't believe we have the furnace required. So we can deposit all this. Um, we can take a lot of the stuff. But unfortunately, like... A lot of this stuff we can't really do anything with right now. Um, we need more Hellstone. So let's go ahead and use another Teleportation Potion. And that was useless. Alright. So, um, if we want to get back down there, best way is just going to be to go back over here and try to work our way over. We need to get to these houses. That's that's the important thing. Um, alternatively, we can go down this cave. That'll be fine. That'll work. 
I thought that slime had a face for a second. Then I realized it doesn't. Um, but. See, it's this. Well, not really this cave. It's the next one over. Okay. So let's try that again. Um, this time being a little bit more in the center of the map will actually help a lot. Uh, just so that we can get down here. Uh, try to get to the underworld. And not have to worry too much about traveling too far. Uh, because the big thing with the underworld is we're going to want... Uh, we're gonna want to get to the actual buildings. There's not only treasure, but there is also um, Well what we need to advance so we can't actually smelt down the hellstone um, or into ingots uh, our Our smelting system our uh, Not really smelting system, but our what is that stuff? Whatever it is, I can't actually break it. Huh. Well then, interesting. Um, there's a bunch of it down here. It's kind of everywhere. Alright, so anyways. Um, we can't actually smelt up the Hellstone until we get a... Uh, I believe it's called a Hellstone Forge. Um, I could be wrong on that. I don't remember what it's called. Apologies on that. I, it's been a while since I've actually made one. Well, not made one, but used one. Um, but you can find them naturally in the little houses in the underworld. So that's what we're going to go do. We just got to get over there. Uh, and this isn't an awful way, but eventually we'll probably want to dig straight down. Um, again, that'll probably be something I do off camera. Uh, because that's kind of boring. But who knows? We might find something cool. So let's go this way. Yeah, I have no idea what that stuff is. And we can't pick it up, so who knows? Alright, we've got... More ice. And... Air light slimes things. More icy shards. We have so much stuff that we can do things with. It's just a matter of figuring out what all we can do, what all we want, what all's gonna be good, and all that fun stuff. Um, I am playing this relatively spoiler free. Uh, I've looked up a couple of things, but not really that much. Um, kind of stayed away from spoilers. Uh, just because, more than anything, it's kind of fun to not know what you're doing and just, just run at it, basically. Um, oh, all that stuff is lost, I think. All right, this is where the mushroom biome is. Uh, like the only mushroom biome I've found so far. Uh, so we can go, oh, and then also where the, uh, the Viscount is. Even better. Uh, so let's go this way. And this is, yeah, gonna kill us. Dang it. All right, so, um, we really need to get that hellstone. Uh, hmm, what to do? Um, deposit everything we can, for one. Loot everything we can, for two. So the ruler and then the shadow key. I wish I could, like, tell it not to, to do anything with that, but I can't. Um, and then I don't know if there's anything else, but just take anything and everything you possibly can. Deposit it all. We'll just deposit all that back. Take a bunch of the torches out. Deposit. Those are full. Wow. Um. Okay. So can we make a? 
another teleportation potion. Um, that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's take a mining potion. And just start digging down. Um, kind of come off to the side a little bit, but uh, this will be fine. Get our friend, and we'll keep digging. So um, once we get to the underworld, then we're gonna we're gonna be relatively in the close, like we're fairly close to the center of the map, uh, which is where the houses kind of spawn at most frequency frequently rather um so hopefully we can we can find what we need and get out of here um without too much issue aha we're decently close oh my gosh would you please stop summoning the little fire bats at me thank you So, there's another marble biome. These are relatively common, uh, it seems. And there's another one of those dudes. But hey, there's also a marble chest, which has some stuff. Uh, is any of the stuff for that good? Eh, not really. But hey, it's stuff. It's free stuff. And we... Well, barely dodged that uh, boulder. Alright, I think that's Demonite. Let's go ahead and grab it. And... Take the Bones Kelty statue. I don't know why it was in the lava, but okay. Whatever. Alright, so we're getting relatively close to the underworld. And like I said, there it should be a lot easier to get what we need down here. Um, there's still a handful of like upgrades and whatnot that we're gonna need to get um, before we do too much more stuff. But uh, we'll worry about that another time. Uh, right now, I just kind of want to get Hellstone so that we can upgrade our uh, storage system because that would be really nice. Um, and then we can we can worry about killing bosses and all that kind of stuff. Uh, later. So, just get out of here. Uh, and something I will probably end up doing at some point is digging a, um, what's popularly known as a elevator, aka, um, uh, get to the underworld very quickly and easily type of thing. Um, we don't need feather fall. Actually, we don't need a single silt block as either. Yeah, feather fall is actually terrible right now because I want to fall relatively fast. Yeah, you know, I guess we could just do this. We could throw some dynamite and come up here. Um, deposit all. Where'd my silver go? Okay. That will work just fine. Cool. What is this stuff? Ancient marble chunks. Oh, okay. I don't know why they look gold when you when they're placed, but whatever. There's another marble house, isn't it? Yep. Uh let's just kill these guys. Uh, I can't open that door for some reason, so we'll go around. Ancient archers. I will say the modded stuff does add a lot of stuff to the um, the biomes. The uh... all right. Don't really want to go over that way. Uh, to the granite and marble biomes, which is nice. Uh, those biomes really need a little bit of love in the main game. There's not much there. Uh, and, and which is a shame because like just like a uh, a little bit of a upgrade just you know 
maybe some reason to go seek them out more than there already is would be nice, but um, honestly kind of doubtful that's ever going to happen, just because uh, I think the, the development of Terraria is wrapping up a little bit more. Um, they seem to be wanting to move on to other games, which is completely acceptable. I mean, that's kind of normal. But, I mean, event eventually the game has to stop getting updates and whatnot, but uh, you kind of would hope that they they fleshed out like the underground uh, underground desert and the desert in general uh, a good bit. So hopefully they would do something similar to the uh, the granite and marble uh, biomes, but like I said, I doubt it. It remains to be seen anyway, so who cares? Um, whatever happens, happens. There's always mods. Alright, so that is one of the houses. Um, I don't know what it's doing up in the ceiling like this, but hey, I'm not complaining. And that is right... This is what we need. Just this. Um, oh man, I don't have room. We don't need blink fruit. The Hellforge. That's what it's called. Uh, so these are really good to get down and try to get some more uh, hellstone. So we're actually going to do just that. And digging through the wall like this is usually your safest bet. Um, not only is there not many enemies that can reach you here, um, but uh, obviously like you can pick up all the hellstone without too much worry. And clean up a little bit of the ash. And then it's just a matter of grabbing hellstone. And what is that? A gluttonous devourer. Alright, um, what are some other things I can throw away? I don't need mud blocks, so that is a fiery maw. Cool. And we don't need the ash. Infernal rocks. Alright, that sounds cool. Um, go ahead and quick stack. And we can kind of keep more things. Okay. So, uh, you kind of get the gist of this. Uh, there's another one of those guys. And fire imps. Fire imps are actually pretty easy to kill. Did they drop anything special? No, doesn't look like it. There's a bunch of magma slimes. So a gluttonous devourer. There's a bunch of these guys. Wow, why are there so many? And I think the uh, the one thing we got was a uh, unique drop. So that's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go back up top. And, uh, the Hellforge actually does everything that the normal furnace does, so we can replace this without any fear. And now we can start putting in, can we put the Hellstone in? Uh, deposit everything. Let's take, like, I don't know, a couple hundred blocks of stone. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, we'll take a little bit of this stuff and deposit the rest or as much as we can. Okay, so can we make some hellstone? Not hell sun, uh, hellstone. So it does require obsidian as well. So let's just make a bit of it, as much as we can. And we have 21 bars. Uh, now we should be able to put this away. And then upgrade. We can make the Hellstone storage upgrades. We can make two of them. And we're just going to go down here and upgrade these guys. So that is a lot better. I can start taking all of this stuff out and... Uh, start putting everything away so that'll be good so 
I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Next time, the plan will be, um, we're going to continue kind of, uh, we're probably going to continue working a little bit more, uh, trying to kill bosses, uh, than exploration and all that kind of stuff. Kind of like what we did today, but we're going to focus more on the boss killing and hopefully, uh, we'll be able to manage to kill a couple of these bosses, the Starplate Raider, Granite Energy Storm, Slime God, Buried Champion, Star Scouter, anything before the Wall of Flesh. And once we're, uh, and then the Viscount, we can't forget about him. Um, so once we get through all of that stuff, then we can start working towards the Wall of Flesh. Um, eventually we will be building a Helivator, um, because those are typically required. Um, it's usually convenient to be able to get to the Underworld fairly quickly. Um, so we'll build one of those, uh, probably over in this area, like right here maybe, um, could be nice, but, uh, we'll kind of see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!